Do, 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 do. Oh, hello there. My name is Skulk, and you want to know about some brushes, do ya? Okay, so this is a question I get way too much. What brushes do you use? And the honest answer to that is I have absolutely no clue. These are tons and tons and tons of brushes. Let me let me let me open it here. Like I have who who okay well there's people with a way lot like way more brushes than that, but these I, w I couldn't tell you where to get all of these because I got them from all kinds of different places. So ooh, look at this one. This one's a chain one. Ooh, how cool is that? Oh, that's massive. I forgot I had that. Okay, so I, I I get brushes like as I need them. I if I need a brush like a cloud brush or something, I go and download a cloud brush pack. Or if I need a, a tree brush pack, I go and then I download the tree brush pack. By the way, what are you looking at here? This is Wonder Woman. I'm working on this, by the way. So this made me think of this because I get this comment a lot. When people ask me what brushes you use, it's very difficult to answer, and I've been postponing this video for forever now. But I what I can show you. Like what I can give you is three brushes that I use the absolute most. And I think, I think it's these few. This one, this one, and this one. An airbrush, like a regular paint brush, and then one that's like pencil-ish. It, it goes, it tapers off every now and then. If you, if you want to make your own brushes, I'm just going to put this in here for the video, by the way. If you want to make your own brushes, you get this little icon here. And by the way, that, that if you want that window, you just go to windows and you just go to brushes. And, um... Yeah, so if you want to make the brush adjuster thing, here's where you do all this. And I have played with this a little bit, like a few years ago, actually. And um, that maybe I might, might do a uh, tutorial in the future. Like if you have a tablet, you have shape dynamics. I know shape dynamics where it makes the size like taper off when you, um, like with this brush, the size tapers off as, as you give less pressure on the pencil or the pen or the brush or whatever you want to call it. So. There's tons of stuff. You can literally make your own brushes here. And that's basically all of these brushes are brushes that other people made. But they, they uploaded the presets and I downloaded them. That's basically the, all there is to it. So um, these three brushes, like usually if you look at the process I usually uh, do in a video, I start off doing the pencils like this. And I usually, I use this for that. But you can literally use any like brush for that as long as it's not like a tree brush or something, like a, a tree stencil. Like if you try to draw with this, it's, you're gonna struggle. <laughs> but I basically use this pencil for like rough penciling. The under stuff, like this, like I did with this Wonder Woman. Uh, I basically did it with this brush, I think. Um, but if that's not enough, you can literally use this. This is nice, nice for sketching as well, this the size taper and stuff. Because um, all you have to do really is you have to put the opacity at about 50% or lower. I wouldn't recommend going too low, otherwise sketching would take a really long time before you actually see something. But I usually, I recommend like putting it at like 40% maybe for like nice sketching style. And you can always make this the sketches a whole lot um lighter as you go along but uh when we if we want to get to those brushes i usually use um let me let me just show you where you can get these brushes first uh here's a website called uh, howtodrawcomics.net this guy has a, a youtube channel as well i uh, really recommend watching his stuff it's really nice but if you're not very advanced i wouldn't recommend if you're just starting out i would recommend checking out some other stuff before checking out this guy's stuff. But yeah, really good stuff. Um, he also used Clip Studio and stuff for line work. Um, I maybe might do a video later on that. I don't know Clip Studio that well, but anyway. Uh, he has these downloads here, you see? Um, uh, he has a few things you can download, like comic wallpaper and stuff. But what I really wanna get to is uh, these free re resources or section here. Uh, here's a comic art Photoshop brushes. Like this, the the three I just show you, they, they're in here, so. There's this ink brush. You can use it for line work, but I don't do line work in Photoshop anymore because I use Clip Studio and the line work in Clip Studio is way better than Photoshop. But if you have Photoshop to use, then you can just, that's that's this brush, this. And I sometimes I sketch with it. And then that pencil brush, uh, and this is an airbrush as well. And what, what the airbrush is nice for is, uh, let me just open another Photoshop up in this, his house. Uh, like this and just let's say you have 
let's make a, like a shape, a weird shape, and then color it a good old a green. Let's say let's say I color it something, okay? And the uh, new layer, sorry. Let's say I colored this thing and it has an outline in and I want to color it. So I basically go and then I use this airbrush. This is one of the three brushes you get with this thing. And um, I would use it and like maybe use a darker color here and then I shade it. And that's basically how I shade my characters and stuff. I use the airbrush is basically all I use. If I want to do something finer, I go in like, like if I want to make like a highlight or something like that I go I, I select the area go lighter and then use that same brush and just go over it lightly you see and then you have that little highlight or whatever there so that's basically how I go about coloring with these three brushes and um, so yeah that's the that's the final one I use usually I use this one uh, this ink one I used to use it for my for my line work but it's great for like sketching and stuff as well so if you wanna uh, make a new layer. It's great for like doing like line work and stuff. So if you want to do like a like a nice square, it's good for that. Basically, I use these three brushes, man. I use this ones even for coloring. Like if I want to do some hard coloring and I cannot reach it or something, I use this one as well. So I basically, if I want to do like a hard lighting below this, whatever this is, a freaking fruit of some sort amazing fruit um, and I want to do like a, a hard lighting but I don't feel like I can get in those lower regions then I just make a mask and I just go over it with that brush and it gives it that hard lighting as well so yeah and when I'm sketching in the beginning remember to play with the opacity that's gonna help you a lot and uh, I always keep the flow at 100% for just so that it doesn't make that those circles you know let me show you like if you put the flow too low you can see like look at that you can see the circles and stuff that's that's not what you like so remember to keep the flow at 100 percent that's just for naturalness if you wanted to do that whatever but uh yeah so as for other brushes like um i know in my one video which is blowing up kind of uh i showed these flame brushes uh which could be smoke as well but um you can literally like google on on, on the internet and you'll find some brushes and you just install them and you use them. It's so easy to find brushes and they can be very potent, very, very, they can be very effective. <laughs> they can be very effective in terms of like giving texture to stuff. If I want to make this uh, fruit kind of like, uh, like it's been splattered with blood, <laughs> then I can do that. Just pick a red, because this is just liquid. I don't know if it's even red paint, but because it's a brush you can just go oh bam and that looks disgusting so i'm just going to take that away so you get all kinds of brushes that have just been stenciled and stuff maybe i might do a tutorial in the future on how you make your own brushes i still haven't really mastered that because i i'm just busy doing my own artwork and stuff so but it could be really really helpful so those three brushes i'm going to put the link to the in the description to those three brushes you use i use those the most i very rarely use I use textured brushes and stuff maybe at the end for just some effect, but not very often. Like the airbrush is very good for like doing lighting and stuff. So yeah, it's basically these three brushes I use the most. And they're in the description for that video, for that website. So go and download those. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be redirecting everyone who asks me about brushes. I'm gonna redirect them to this video because it's it's kind of, it's 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 painful to just yeah <laughs> I hope this I hope this uh, tutorial helped you a lot um, I might do some more tutorials in the future if you want to know something specific let me know and I will I will do a video on it so yes I hope this was helpful if it was leave a like on this video remember to subscribe for some more videos and I will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye